The Golden Sky Bridge is located near the town of Golden, British Columbia, Canada. Here you can walk across the two highest suspension bridges in Canada that span a canyon with a waterfall. The upper bridge is 130 meters or 426 feet high and 150 meters long, while the lower bridge is 80 meters or 262 feet high and 140 meters long. A beautiful forested trail connects the two suspension bridges in a loop that offers stunning views along with other thrilling adventures. There are many viewing platforms along the trail to get those photos of the beautiful canyon and mountain ranges. The adventure seekers won't want to miss the zip line that provides a ride across the canyon from 500 feet in the air. There are four zip line tracks so you can challenge friends and family to a race. There is a treetop play park near the visitor center for the kids that includes tree forts and slides. The Canyon Edge Challenge Course is a ropes course that features three different courses with varying degrees of difficulty. You can climb, balance, sway, and swing while suspended up to 40 feet in the air. The giant canyon swing is coming soon. Designed as a tandem swing, it sends adventurers free-falling over the canyon edge and then swinging out over the canyon. The Golden Sky Bridge is definitely worth a stop, with a little something for everyone. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today, me and my wife are at Golden Sky Bridge in British Columbia. So there's two suspension bridges here, and they're both the number one and two highest suspension bridges in Canada. So it should be entertaining. I'm not too fond of heights. <laughs> so we'll see what it's like, but I bet you the view is amazing. So yeah, let's get going. Okay, we'll just go up this little hill here. You can already see one of the bridges from here. Yeah, it's a high one. Should be interesting. It's probably hard to see from here, but the other one, it's right down over there. Yeah, beautiful view. A little hazy, but beautiful spot. So here's my wife coming. Drinking her coffee. So here we come up on the platform for the upper sky bridge. Yeah, maximum person, 60. And yeah, no bouncing, running, climbing. It's a nice little area, a couple picnic tables. You can sit down, take a break. And here it is. Yeah, it's got some bounce to it. I'm not too good with heights. That's like my one weakness. It probably doesn't help that I'm holding on to a camera. Here's a look over cross nice view there's the other bridge down there okay the wife just started walking on to the bridge <laughs> it's bouncing pretty good and yeah this one that I'm on right now is the highest in Canada so that's pretty cool yeah, let's walk across here So in certain circumstances, I am really afraid of heights. If I don't feel secure, like if I'm on the ledge of something, but when it comes to bridges, they have railings like this, it's not too bad. 
because I feel secure. I know I can't go anywhere, I guess. And right now I'm over the highest part. It's a little waterfall down there. Yeah, so there's the zip liners right there, if you can see. They're quite a ways off there. <laughs> they were pretty high up there into the trees. And yeah, there's another platform down there. They're making the swing where you will swing out over the canyon. But I don't believe it's open yet, the last I heard. But we're going to walk down around there. So it sways and it bounces, especially when quite a few people get on here. So mom, if you're watching, I know for sure you would never have done something like this. It's hard to show how high it is on camera, but it's high. So yeah, very cool. It even looks like she's a little freaked out. And she told me before this, I'm not afraid of heights. It won't bother me at all, but I think the bouncing and the swaying with the heights, that freaks everybody out a little bit. It's scary down there. <laughs> yeah, and it's a lot higher than I think I thought it was going to be too, but once I got on it for a little while, it wasn't too bad. Here's some more people coming. Most everybody's holding on with two hands, so they're probably all a little <laughs> freaked out by the swaying. <laughs> That's very cool though. We still got one more bridge to go across. It's not quite as high. I guess that one is the second highest in Canada. So. <laughs> okay, we're just going down the path to the next bridge. So here's another adventure that you can do. Looks like you can climb from all these platforms up in the trees. There's a platform over there. Canyon Edge Challenge. So you can climb around here. That's pretty cool. And there's the bridge that we just came from. look actually helps give you a better perspective of the height and that's still not the bottom so there's the platform up there for the zip line some people getting ready to go come down to the lower bridge. Okay, here we go over the second bridge, the lower bridge. Yeah, when you have a few people on this, it sure sways and bounces. Hard to keep steady. Yeah, this is a nice place though. Definitely recommend it. There's quite a bit that you can do here. Beautiful area. Bridges are cool. You can do the zip line. You can do that little adventure in the woods. There's a play area for the kids. The wife is struggling with the swaying. I don't think she likes it. 
<laughs> There's a look down there at Golden, the town. So yeah, we're almost across now. Okay, so here's the giant canyon swing. It's not open yet. But yeah, they'll have a swing here that will swing out over the canyon, I guess. Okay, everyone, that'll be it. We're just heading out. So yeah, that was a good couple hours to see the two highest suspension bridges in Canada. Very cool, there's lots of other stuff here to do for the whole family. So yeah, I recommend the place. So if you like the video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.